Hello friends, this is Imran. In this video, we are going to learn how we can fix any STL file for 3D printing in Materialize Magix. First of all, go to Home and uh, Import Part. Go to your location. I have selected this part. This, uh, this part is actually uh, the type is STL document. You can also open the, all these formats. Right now, I'm because I am working on the STL file, select the model, open okay now you can see the model has so many issues and we want to fix it really quickly so first of all select the model check what is the dimension i want to rescale the model to this uh, length i want it 150 so Control plus r to rescale and then select uniform scale this one i want 150 apply close press t to set the model into 000 origin right now you can see here it is not in a 000 origin so just simply uh, check if you have already checked to the minimum xyz dot 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 and then here 0 0 0 and then apply close then press q to zoom on the model directly okay now we have that model first of all i can see here from here it, there is no thickness and this uh, solar thing has no thickness also and from here i can see yeah this part is no, no not close so i need to fix these things and then we can simply um, fix the model so first of all select the model go to the the selection parts mark surface select the surface okay once that is done then separate marked okay you can see we have separate the one separate one part hide it now i want to select this select with the net option okay now we have selected this as well and then separate that is done i also don't want to see the dimensions for now so go to analyze and report part dimension uncheck it now go to fixing and then create triangle then select we need to bridge this line to this so select this line and then this line you can see we have created a surface here as well then click on the unmark option okay now i want to do shrink wrap in these parts so for that select the model and then click on the shrink wrap okay the more value i increase in sim in simple interval it will be like it will be a very longer process and the accuracy will be very good also but for this model i want to do it 0.03 you can see i have reduced the gb so the process time will also be uh, short and i want to give extra thickness of somewhere around 0.2 and then apply perfect now you can see that model is uh, already fixed in, le le in less than two minutes now close you can inspect the model from all the sides looks fine to me now we, we need to work on these two parts which we separated so hide this one and unhide these two so the issue here is like these two parts does not have any kind of thickness so select both the parts go to home or go to edit and then click on the surface to solid here i just want to give thickness i want to give it somewhere around 2 mm thickness 
और 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव इज फाइव ओके डिटेल साइज ऑल्सो ओके स्ट्रेट एज ओके ओके Now you can see we have created a thickness here also. These issues we can fix directly. You can uh, do auto fixing from here. Alt plus F is the short form shortcut, or you can do fixing from here as well. Click here and then fix. Okay, it actually ruined some shapes. No problem. Close. we can do one more thing that is like we can also apply string trap here so it will fix all these things little little things 0.01 <clears throat> or 0.02 i don't want to give any thickness is fine apply perfect now unhide all the model parts select all the parts and then merge okay once we have merged the part do a normal auto fixing auto fix so like if these connections are not uh, uh, are intersecting and, and are not solid it will flex fix automatically perfect you can see all these issues which were there it uh, has gone now now right click on the model then save the part save wherever you you want to save the part as str or you can save from uh, home select the part save selected part and then you can also save the part from there as well so friends thank you for watching this video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section